Torque is used for measuring rotary force. For most people that will involve using a torque wrench like this. Torque wrenches are used for setting fasteners to a specific torque setting. They are adjustable on the handle part there and they do vary widely between the different torque wrenches that you buy. You can buy really small ones that are about so long for doing really intricate jobs or you can get them six foot long for doing large jobs. Generally speaking, the larger the fastener you are tightening, the more torque you would apply to it. If you work on vehicles a lot, you will be very familiar with a torque wrench. If you don't, other people may not know how to use one. This is going to be a quick demonstration showing you how to use a torque wrench. This torque wrench is adjusted by the handle at the end there, but this one also has a locking mechanism on it. So you can actually set the torque by turning the handle and then you can actually lock it to that specific torque. Not all torque wrenches have that locking feature on them. If you look on the handle there, you can see that we have got a scale for Newton meters. This particular torque wrench will go up to a maximum of 210 Newton meters. On the other side, we have a kilogram meter scale. If you are in America or other parts of the world where you're still use Imperial, you will have foot pounds on that side. You may also have Newton meters on the other side. I'm going to be using this to tighten up an M12 bolt. So I'm going to set the torque setting to 100 Newton meters. So I'm just going to turn this handle until we get up to the 98 Newton meter mark. You can see that we're now zeroed in there on 98. So we now need another two Newton meters. So that will make it 99. That will make it 100 Newton meters. We can now turn the locking handle there at the end and we can actually lock the wrench. So that is now locked at 100 Newton meters. On this end, we'll just put a normal socket. This torque wrench has a forwards and reverse function. So you can tighten left-handed or right-handed threads using this torque wrench. I'm now gonna tighten the M12 bolt up using the torque wrench. So it's simply a case of putting the socket on the end and pressing down on the handle. Once it gets to the determined torque, the handle will actually click and it will slip. Like so. When you get that clicking noise, that means you have reached the torque that you have set the torque wrench to. So these are very simple to use and they are very handy, especially if you're doing a lot of work on vehicles, because a lot of equipment that you tighten up on vehicles, it will give you a specific torque that you need to tighten a fastener up to. When you've finished using your torque wrench, it's important that you unlock it and then wind off the handle. You do not want to keep it for a long period of time with a set torque on there because you can actually damage the internal mechanism. It's always a good idea to wind off the handle once you've finished using it.